Welcome back, Budgie Breeder One here. So today I will be going over annoying things that budgies do. So this is probably a video for like new or inexperienced owners or owners that have budgies but probably haven't noticed these things and if you have then you can probably relate to some of the stuff I'm about to say. So the list of annoying things that I have is very small mainly because it's not a lot of annoying things that budgies do that's why I have them. Um, but I'm just going to get into the videos. One thing that a budgie does that annoys me a lot is they poop in the water dish. I don't know if it's intentional or if they just like drink some water, turn around, have to poop, and poop. So that's annoying. I probably clean my water bowls about twice a day because they like to poop in it. But I did get a stainless steel water bowl and I put it up high. The key is to put it up high. If you put it down low in the bottom of the cage, it's probably going to get poop in it more often than, in, than if you put it up in a high place. By the way, if you don't have one, you should get one because stainless steel doesn't like to grow bacteria in it. You probably will get some bacteria growth, but not like a plastic water bowl. Plastic water bowls, they grow gunk and all of the extra dirty bacteria stuff. So get a stainless steel one because it's very minimized and it's a good water bowl so it's, it's very easy to clean out put their water bowl up high if you can if you have a clip on, on the water bowl then it's very easier than than the place that the cage make you put the water bowl okay so another thing that budgies do that annoys me and probably other people is they create a lot of dander it's, I don't think that they, they can help it because their feathers automatic naturally grow out and it just creates dander. They can't help it so, but it does annoy me because when you walk into a room, all you see is a bunch of feathers flying around. It's very minimized if you only have one or two birds. You probably won't even notice, but I have a large quantity of birds, so all of that flapping and all of the printing all of that dust is just floating. Um, of course, houses have natural dust, but with birds, you can tell that is more than what you would naturally have. Um, so yeah, all the feathers and dust in the air. Hooray. Another thing that budgies do that annoy me is they like to, I don't know, they probably don't do this on purpose again with the water bowl and with the um, dander and dust, but it's just something that naturally comes when owning a budgie. So things that happen is seed holes, seed shells fall on the floor and it makes a mess. It's not gonna be avoided. If you have a bird, then you're gonna know the seeds on the floor. There's no way around it. I think you can get like seed catchers. I'm not totally sure if they work all the way. Um, you might have a little bit of spill of seeds on the floor, but not a lot as you would have without the seed cover. So I would recommend getting a seed cover. I never had one, but if you get one, then it would probably be best in your best interest. Another thing that budgies do along with the seeds is they preen themselves. And when they preen themselves, a whole bunch of feathers fall on the floor. I collect my feathers. Hold on. I collect my feathers. Um, my grandma fell on my bucket, so don't mind the dent. But okay, now I see dust and stuff. So I have a whole bunch of feathers. I hope this is focused because my camera doesn't auto adjust. You can kind of see some oh, dust flying. So what I'm going to do is. After I collect a whole bunch of them, I'm still collecting. I've been collecting for, I haven't been serious like I was last year, but I'm going to, I still collect them. And when I collect this all full up and stuff, I'm going to make a pillow out of these feathers. So it's going to be an awesome project that I will be working on probably in the next year or two. Or if I be serious in collecting feathers, I can probably make it sooner. The pillow probably won't be big though, but it's still a pillow with all of my bird feathers in it. Another thing that budgies do that annoys people a lot, and it's the main reason why people try to avoid getting budgies and parrots, because they're loud. 
um, it's something that you're going to have to take into account when owning boogies. They're just going to naturally chirp loud because that's what they're used to doing in the wild. So if you have more than one, it's going to be loud. Um, I think two, the noise isn't as bad as if you have like 10 or 11 like I have. So my room constantly sounds like a pet store and there's no way around it. Um, you can put covers over these birds, but probably if you still see sunlight in the cage, it probably won't help. Um, but you can kind of hear them in my room, um, in the living room, and they're chirping. So they're gonna naturally chirp. That's what, how they communicate to once another. I don't know if once another is a thing, but each other. Um, and that's it. They can be quite loud. Um, sometimes when watching movies, it's annoying. That's where the annoying part comes from. I don't mind them chirping, but when I'm like watching movies or trying to talk on the phone and then just hear a whole bunch of screaming in my ears, that's when it comes annoying. But on a regular basis, like if I'm just watching them, they can chirp as loud as they want. I don't care. Um, and that's just about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Is it recording now? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know why people say give it a big like. It's only one size like button. So if you like this video, just give it a regular size like, I guess. Um, I have a surprise for you guys next week. The beginning of next week or this weekend. Uh, stay tuned for that. Um, that's it. Continue loving birds, I guess. Um, goodbye.